Hey, look what I made for you. A customizable social media panel that you can use for everything. Show it in your videos, your live streams, use them as Twitch panels. You decide, it's absolutely free. And today I'm gonna show you how to actually customize it and really make it yours. All right, we'll be using photop.com because it's completely free and it's basically Photoshop. And once you go to the website, you can click on templates. Now it's already showing here, but in case it doesn't, you can type my name in the search bar. Okay, yeah, level, and it's called Gloss. Click on it once, make sure it's the right one, click on it twice, and boom, there you have it. So by default, it's set for the YouTube thing, and I want you to pay attention to the layers list. Now, let me quickly tell you what's what. So top left, you're gonna have your basic options, like file, export as PNG, very important one to save them, or edit, free transform. We will see that in a minute. Then on the left side, we will have our tools, and on the right side, you will have our layers. Now, I color-coded them so you can see which ones were important. The red one is going to be the text, but that's where you usually want to go ahead and put your name in. There we go. So that folder icon means this is a group, and that little arrow means that you can expand that group and actually find the actual text. You can turn it off, I can turn it on, and if I want to modify it, all I have to do is click on the icon right next to the name. So the T, that's the icon, double click on that, and you see it has this selected. So now you can type whatever you want. All right, let's go back to the layers list, and here we have some icons, also a group, let me collapse the text and you'll see that I have a couple of icons in there. But if you find your own icons for some obscure platform and you have the transparent image for that logo, all you have to do is drag it in there and then size it and place it. It will automatically give it the right color. So it'll make it white and it will give it the same effect with the drop shadow and everything. I'll show you that in a little bit. OK, so in order to switch the logos, all you have to do is basically turn the YouTube off and let's go with Twitch. And you'll see that now we have the Twitch logo, but the color doesn't match. What do we do? Let's go back to the layers list and we'll see that there is one single layer that is not a group that's called color. And in order to change the color, we need to double click on the icon next to the name, double click on it, and you will see in a color picker will pop up. And from there, give it the appropriate color you want. Now, the color works in a specific way. If you drag it to high, it might be a little too bright. So you want to find the sweet spot. If you want your whole thing to be a little darker, you can also do that. And if you want the whole thing to be black and white, you want to go in the gray values and then drag it down until you're satisfied with the brightness. OK, so for X, for example, this would be our color for Twitch. You might go with this for IG. We would probably go with an orange and for TikTok, we can either go with the magenta like that, bring it down. So basically the steps are as follows. Just turn on the icon that you want, bring up the text, double click on the T, type your name in that thing. And once you're done, go to file, export as PNG, and then just save it. Just like that. Now we talked about custom icons. Let's say that you want some platform that I didn't include. You go to Google and you find this and it's and it's transparent. What you could do is right click on it, copy image, go back to photo B, make sure you have the icons here folder selected. All right. And then press control V or, you know, go to edit paste. It's the same thing. Control V. Now we have the logo, but of course it's super huge. Remember when I said edit transform, go back to edit, go to free transform. And basically from there, you can find where you can transform it. Or up top here, you also have some information where you can just be like, you know what? Set it to 10% of its original height and width. There we go. And you can see it brought it down here. I can just drag, bring it there. And now I can drag the corners to actually make it fit. Just like that. We're going to turn off the TikTok one, of course. And then you just choose the color you feel matches with it. Now, remember, change the color. You double click on the icon next to the name of the layer, the color layer, and find a suitable color just like that. And you just made your own custom one. And that's pretty much all. Once you're done, you're going to have your individual panels. You can do whatever you want with them. But also, if you want to put them all together, like in a line, you could probably do this in Photo P. Let me go to File, New. Top right here, I'm going to go 1080p, so 1920 by 1080. And directly from, from this window, I can bring in all of those. I'm holding Shift. I'm holding Control. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. You can see it populated the layers. Now I have all my layers together. I can select them all, put them, and I can basically visualize where I would want them. If I'm a live streamer, for example, and I want them there. Now all I have to do is click on them one by one, and I will click and drag 
If you don't want it to move around like this, you can hold shift and it will move in a straight line, even if my mouse is going up and down like that. Okay. Twitch bar, click, hold shift, drag. TikTok bar, click, hold shift, drag. Instagram bar, click, hold shift, drag. If I want to edit them all together, for example, if this is too big, I can uh, select the one at the bottom, hold shift, select the one at the top. And now I can edit, free transform, or as you can see here, the shortcut for that is Alt Control T. I'm gonna press that. Boom. Now I get the handles. And now I can make it bigger or I can make it smaller, just like that. Pretty nice. And if I want to export this as a 1080p image, I can just turn off the background by clicking on the eye and then export this. And now I have a full thing. I'm guessing like if you're doing something like IRL live streaming, this could be useful, right? You can just put this as a browser source or whatever. Now, if you wanted to animate this, you could go to a service website like Stream Elements or Streamlabs. And I'm going to go to overlays, create a new overlay, 1080p, yes. And I'm going to add a new widget and that widget will be an asset rotator slideshow. Click on that. And you're going to have all the options on the left here, such as add asset. You click on that. Now here's the gallery. You want to click on upload and now you can drag and drop your stuff. I have them here, drag, drop, bam. Now all I have to do is go through them and click submit every time. Submit, boom, submit, boom. And you see it being populated on the left here. Boom. Boom. Here I can put the image. So the delay in between each image. Iteration pause is basically how long you want it to stop for before it starts over again. So if you want like a good, so if you want it to pop up from time to time and not always, you can do it. As you can see now, nothing. And then it will start over again after five seconds. Okay. And then the image duration, show images for, I'm going to put that at two seconds. You can see the animation is pretty fast. Uh, and the delay is actually the time in between images. I don't want that at all. So they fade into each other here, but we can also change the animation settings. So if we don't want them to fade, we can go ahead and pick different animations. And we have fade in and fade out. Say bounce in left and bounce out right. <laughs> so if you want that animation to go on, of course, with the duration and all of that, uh, you can do it five seconds and then it'll start again. Easy clap. Uh, if you're using Streamlabs instead of Stream Elements, instead of Asset Rotator Slider, it's called Sponsor Banner. That's it. Just look up Sponsor Banner. And then you'll just add it as a browser source in uh, OBS Studio, in your broadcasting software, if that's what you're using. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> Anyways, if you would like to know how I make this step by step, you would like to become a member of this channel you can click on become a member here and i will post the step-by-step -step tutorial tomorrow still experimenting with the whole members only videos so if you decide to become a member i absolutely appreciate it and that's it make sure you follow me on twitch i'll see you next time go out there make me proud get a level out